Um, the question is, does racism excuse breaking the law? Um, so absolutely not. But what I, what I will say to that is, uh, for, so I'm, I'm one, we're one African-American couple. Right, we we have certain views around things that are maybe different from other African American people or people of color, right? And what I what I what I don't want to happen in answering that question is to allow people to walk away from the table, right? To say, oh yes, the law was broken, they deserved it. End of conversation, right? Um, we're dealing with a lot more than that, right? Um, we're dealing with a system um, that was established in injustice and has carried its way through time um, to us today. And we need, we, need to, we need to find ways to stay at the table, stay in conversation. Um, um, I am a um, uh, legal biting citizen. I don't go out committing crimes. If, if, uh, if I was walking down the street and a cop pulled up next to me and said, get on the sidewalk, like, I might look at him crazy based on what he asked me, but I won't, you won't find me in his car trying to take his gun. That won't be Leroy Barber, right? But you have to take into account what, uh, where people are when they come to the end. They, when, like, there's no hope. It is lost. And when it is lost, when the system has failed over and over and over again, is it more than just about that day when that officer gets like under your skin and it's the day that things go, go awry, right? Could it be a day when I'm in my car and I'm on a passenger side and an officer asks me for my 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 driver's license and I'm not driving and in that moment I say no what if I said no no you are no this is not right I could be 100% right but in that moment that officer is a person and I am a person he is going to respond as a person as well I, I, I don't think it's as simple as you broke the law that's the end of the conversation. It's not it's, it's so much more complicated than that. When you, can, when you can get arrested simply for your skin color. So a kid is in his home. This happened six months ago. He's going into his house, African-American kid, white community. Somebody calls the cops. Cops come. They go in his house, ask him what he's doing there. He said, this is my house, right? This is my house. And he gets in handcuffs and arrested. Why was he arrested? He, why, why, was the, why did the officers feel it was okay to enter that house? They thought it was a threat because of what? His skin was black. That's it. That's it. That's, <laughs> folks, that. There, there, there's, there's, this was an adopted kid in his own house. He was adopted by a white family. Going in every day, going into his house. But your skin is black and this is the wrong neighborhood. We need to check this out. There's a lot wrong here. 